We are in New York and we're standing outside of Gotham Burger Social Club. We tested uh, the burger from Mike Puma in two years ago, I think. It was a pop-up, but now he has opened his own restaurant and we're here to talk to him, eat some food and just see what's happened in the New York burger scene the last 11 years. Let's go. Burger Social Club. I'm sitting here with Mike Puma who started it 11 years ago. Yeah, yeah. As a, as a club that reviewed burgers yeah. and then slowly started making them when yeah. there were no smash burgers available in New York City. And uh, we opened up uh, almost six months ago. Because I was here almost six months ago but you hadn't opened. I think you opened like two weeks after I left. Yeah. A few delays and then we had to wait. It was like the holidays hit us and all that fun stuff. But that's always the problem when you open a restaurant. Do you say one day it's all yeah, it's never. Nothing's ever. Uh, how has these six months been for you? Okay. Exceeding expectations. Um, in the short period, we've already, because of people like you, have already become a yeah. uh, kind of destination point in New York City. Um, we've had a lot of people from all over the world visiting us. It's yeah. been incredible. That's really fun to hear. I'm sitting with a burger. Can you explain what's so in it? So you've got our, our classic double smash. Um, we saute onions into the beef, topped with American cheese. We keep it very simple. It's a very nostalgic burger. Uh, we do customize every burger to order. So if you get it fully loaded, which you have, you've got our special pickles. We've got pickled jalapenos, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard, and our house sauce that we make it house. That sounds amazing because a lot of people serve the classic Oklahoma onion smash and I always say that it's soft but when you add the pickles already inside the burger, texture. it's some And you'll get some different textures from the onions, you'll get some crispy bits and you'll also get some soft onions in the mix. Yeah, and some heat from the jalapeno. So I'm yes, going to take a bite now. It's dressed, but I think everything complements yeah. itself and it kind of all works together to create a nice bite. And you know, some people like them plain, by all means. Yeah. And to I, me, this is how I like it. I really like the sauce. It's a classic burger sauce that you make in house, right? Yeah. yeah? It's, it's a little bit more umami, a little more seasoning yeah. in there. It's not that classic Thousand Island dressing that a lot of burger sauces kind of replicate. Yeah, now I got a piece of the jalapeno. 
So you just get, there's only two in each yeah. burger. Yeah. So you'll get some bites that have a little bit of that heat, some bites it's a little bit more mellow. Yeah, but it, since it's hot, I don't want the whole burger to be too hot no. as well. So it's, no. it gives a nice A little dimension. surprise. Yeah. yeah. Each yeah. bite becomes a little bit different. Yeah. How big are the meat patties? Uh, three ounces. Three ounces, yeah. So the double, we do a single, we do a double, we do offer a triple as well here. Doubles, I think, hit perfect. Yeah, I mean, the double is, I think it's a perfect amount. Six of, ounces. Yeah. Uh, and you toast the bun only on the outside. Only on the top, yeah. Why do toasting. you decide to do that? To make it our own, but now everybody's doing it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you have a, a lot of copycats out there, and, and you know, it, we're flattered that people yeah. do it that way, yeah. but um, I think it doesn't dry out the bun as much. It, it airs to more of a still a fluffy bun. Yeah. Um, it just adds, a, again, another layer of texture and flavor. Yeah. And I also think, like, since it's Martin's potato rolls, it works because that bread is so special. Like I've tried to find other breads that's better. Yeah, than this, we keep it simple. Is... Try not to overthink. Yeah. What else do I have here? So here we've got. This is what people have fallen in love with: our homemade frickles. They are fried pickle chips. They pair great with our ghost pepper ranch. If you want to go try that? I love fried pickles. It's like. So this will be a nice slow burn. Thank you, buddy. And just as you think the spice becomes overpowering, mm -hmm. it's gone. And you're ready to go back in for more. That's amazing. Good. And like you said, the deal from the pickle, but also like the heat is... Classic with ranch. Um, this is our chopped cheese taco, which we always say is like a cousin of the burger. Yeah. You've got, it's a, a classic take on a bodega classic. Um, chopped beef, uh, cheese, onions all mixed together. We topped it off with our special uh, spicy crema and a flour tortilla. It reminds me a bit of the smash taco that became popular on TikTok. Yeah. But like you said, it's it's a bit more special because it's not just the cheese and ketchup. It's like burger sauce, but also that cheesy flavor. That comes. It's just fun. Some to, some to offer people outside of yeah. they want to come and have a burger every day. You know, they can come and have a taco. We've got great hot dogs yeah. as well. And these are our beer battered onion rings and our classic shoestring fries. And those pair great with our club sauce, which goes well with literally everything on the menu. It's crispy, mm -hmm. not too heavy. Yeah, they're not coated too much, and you still get the onion flavor. Mm -hmm. Love them. And then this is our buffalo blue cheese. Oh. So if you like buffalo flavor or buffalo wings, try a fry in there. It's, it's addictive. It's literally one of my favorite dipping sauces. That's amazing. And again, we make all of our sauces in-house. We also do a regular home on the ranch, which yeah. has no spices. Yeah. This one, this one is the best dipping sauce. That's I your try. favorite. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's everything you want in like a buffalo wing sauce. Yeah, and without the wings, so you can do the pickles. Like and everything else. I would love this in a burger as well. You can do that. Go ahead. Give it a little dunk. There's no rules here. This is amazing. That's the nice thing is literally everything works with everything. There's nothing yeah. that isn't gonna isn't gonna work with your meal. But how was these before you opened the restaurant? How has the ten years been? So we started doing pop-ups um, after reviewing burgers. Started doing pop-ups in '17 for a lot of fundraisers, animal rescue organizations, um, and then that led to more opportunities to come. Yeah. When the pandemic hit, some bars in this neighborhood, Ray's, Marshall Stack, um, Hotel Chantel, had reached out to me to do a pop-up. And I had no interest in opening a restaurant at that point. I didn't know where this was gonna take me, but I said, sure, we love doing pop-ups. They're fun, brought a lot of people out during the pandemic when the world was shut down. You had this little oasis of normalcy in the city. And it just took off from there. All of a sudden, next thing I knew, we had three hour waits for burgers. We increased it to two grills. We went from two of us to six people. Um, 
and the more we did it, the more fun we were having, and the more we realized this was bigger than just a pop. -up. And teamed up with some people to kind of put this all together, people who have had some uh, experience in the industry, mm -hmm. and here we are with a restaurant that has been packed since we opened the doors. Yeah. Thank God. But like you said, here we are, because we in Burger Dudes have been working, it's our 10 year anniversary this year. So we're almost uh, at the same point as you, but we've not come to the starting a restaurant yet. But, but your passion, we'll let your passion dictate where you're going. Yeah. Right now we love eating burgers, that's our passion. <laughs> yeah, and we always say like nothing tastes better than memories. So yeah. I'm not sure the burgers like that you grew up on, but yeah. this is what I grew up on. And it, it brings back those memories, and that's that's what yeah. eating great food is all. About. I mean, I come from Sweden, so our burger scene ten years ago was nothing close to what America had ten years ago, I guess. Yeah. But we're slowly getting there, and we're coming on to you. So maybe we surpass in Sweden. We'll see. But thank Ooh, you so much for having you. us. I appreciate um, you coming by today. Always a pleasure having yeah. you. Here, and I hope so. you come to Sweden. We can show you around. I would love that too. For the best burgers in Sweden. I'm here for the freckles. Don't pass on the these. Freckles and the blue cheese uh, buffalo sauce. Don't miss it. Get this. I go back and forth. I'll have a bite yeah, of one plane and I'm like, oh, that's great. <laughs> And so they'll have a dress, they'll be like, that's amazing. I can't figure out which way I like But here the meat flavor comes through comes in a, a different way. Yeah, yeah. you don't have anything else on it, it's just really tasting more meat and cheese. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is, it's not like an overly filling burger. If you eat one, you're like, get out another one. Yes. You know, it's not that gut bomb where you yeah. feel like you want to go take a nap. Like eating a marinara pizza because that's the same thing. Like you can yeah, eat yeah. many of high them. fermentation dough. It's like it's not heavy. Like you said, this one is also really good. Yes. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.